Well, hey friends. Wow. Do I have a message for you? Um, so God just gave me this really long message. He even told me what the mark was. I mean, I'm blown away right now. So time must be very, very short because he's revealing all this stuff. Um, he also talked about a movie coming out and I don't know the name of it or anything, but it's going to relay his true calendar dates. So that's interesting. Okay, so I claim that Jesus Christ came to earth in the flesh as a man, and he died on the cross, and he rose on the third day. I need to wipe my screen. There's like a little black dot. It's bugging me. Okay. Also, ignore the telegram and the um, WhatsApp people. They say, write me. That's never me. Okay, excuse the roughness. I was literally just about to go to bed. Today is March 27, 2023. First, he gave me Ephesians 1, 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Philippians 1, 4. Always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you all with joy. Ephesians 3, 5. Which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it, as, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets. John 4, 12. Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? Numbers 12, 6. Then he said, Hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. Okay, and here's the message. My child, Israel will be going through some changes. The overthrow of the government will launch a martial law threat in Israel, which is going to spread to the entire country. Keep an eye on Israel and watch how I protect them. Once my people are gone, they will no longer be under my protection. The seals will mark the ones I will save. Abide in me. Worship me, believe in me, I will save you. Confess, I am Lord, and I will protect you through what's coming. Old children, my clock is about to strike, and then the hour is up. Are you looking up for my arrival? Some of you are brainwashed by lies of the media. You can't see the evil protruding through your TV screen while they try to manipulate you to believe there is no militia and overthrow of the government. The war will start and watch the nations unite. You will soon see there is a method to all of their madness, a plan in place that will change the whole world. And then he gave me Daniel 11.3. Then a mighty king shall arise who shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. Exodus 14, 6. So he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Micah 4, 9. Now why do you cry aloud? Is there no king in your midst? Has your counselor perished? For pangs have seized you like a woman in labor. But why are you now screaming in terror? Have you no king to lead you? Have your wise people all died? Pain has gripped you like a woman in childbirth. Another message. Children, when are you going to wake up and see what's coming? I am using my people to warn you. They share the gospel with you. They speak my prophecies to you. They tell their dreams. They warn you through their visions. But you are stuck on living in this world and idolizing things. Things can't save you. Only I can save you. My wrath is coming and it's volatile and you will wish you had listened. I love you, but your lack of knowledge is going to make you perish. Only I can save you, but you choose not to believe in me. You choose to mock me. You choose to scoff me. You will see the sword I have coming for you. Oh, how you... Oh, how your lack of empathy disgusts me. How your cruelty condemns your neighbor when you are supposed to love your neighbor. Where is your heart? Where is your love? Door is closing. My bride is coming home. Esther 6, 9. Then let this robe and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that he may array the man whom the king delights to honor. Then parade him on horseback 
through the city square and proclaim before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delights to honor. Daniel 1 7. To them the chief of the eunuchs gave names. He gave Daniel the name Belisazar, to Haniah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. Philippians 4 3. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Genesis 8, 6. So it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. Galatians 4, 3. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. 1 Peter 2, 5. You also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Mark 6, 8. He commanded them to take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bag, no bread, no copper in their money belts. Luke 2, 9. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. 1 John 4, 9. In this love of God was manifested towards us that God has sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Matthew 6, 8. Therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. Matthew 6, 2. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Jeremiah 1, 7. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am the youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Jeremiah 29, 5. Build houses and dwell in them, plant gardens and eat their fruit. Okay, and here's another message. Overthrow of the government is coming. Wake up, children. War is coming. Martial law is coming. Exile is coming. Pandemic is coming. Famine is coming. Natural disasters are here and they are going to increase tenfold. Watch for me and look at my signs. I am showing you my true dates. Purim is coming. Passover is coming. My calendar's true dates will be revealed soon. A movie will be released, still in production, not publicized yet. Will be marketed soon. Look at my true dates, how they will be revealed. The enemy always reveals their plans. If you are looking for it, you will see it. Open your eyes, child. It will be right in front of you, staring at you to your face. Once you know my true calendar, you will know time is very short. Your redemption draws nigh. Keep looking up. Your Adonai, your Redeemer and Rescuer has spoken. Whoa. Okay, so um, I'm going to run out of time, so I'm going to do part two because there's more. <laughs> okay, if you guys don't know Jesus, ask him to come into your life. Uh, believe in him. Confess that he's Lord. If you don't know him, confess your sins and believe that he will save you from them. And he will, guys. He doesn't want anyone to perish, which is why he's giving me like seven pages. <laughs> I don't know. Not seven, but it's a lot. Um, okay. Well, I will see you in part two.